Okay, okay. Here we are again. Perfect. Good evening, people. Okay, just give me a minute, please. Okay, now, yes. Hi, good evening. Um, how was your day today? I hope it was good, okay? I hope you're doing well. I hope you, you are well, perfect. Okay. I am preparing here my land. Excellent, I have... Sandra, Ivani, Eliastar, los más puntuales, always, right? ¿Cómo han estado? Díganme, ¿cómo, ¿qué me cuentan? ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? ¿Hicieron, hicieron ejercicio hoy? I don't know, right? ¿Algo, ¿Algo que deseen compartir con la clase? Let's see. Vamos a ver. Hi, good evening, good evening. Welcome to this class, people. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay, perfect. I'm preparing here, hola, hola. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? How are you today? How do you feel today? I'm fine, on? teacher, and you? Perfect, I'm great. Today I feel great. Okay. Wells. ¿Cómo están los demás? Bien o también. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Welcome again to this class. Today is Friday. Fr no, 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 Friday. Almost Friday. Almost Friday. Today is Thursday. Almost Friday. Okay. Um, yesterday, we were making an exercise here, right? Estábamos haciendo un ejercicio um, donde teníamos que ordenar. Okay. Eh, pero primero, yo quiero, quiero que podamos hacer un ejercicio today. Okay, she's a nurse, right? Ella es una doctora. Hemos estado hablando de las profesiones. Ok, entonces lo que vamos a hacer esta noche es que uh, uh, yo voy a empezar a dar como a describirla, lo que ella hace o la rutina que ella tiene, porque ya, ya vimos eh, la rutina, eh, por ejemplo, si se levanta a las 6 de la mañana, si ella va al trabajo en carro. Um, entonces cada uno va a ir eh, diciendo algo, ok. Entonces, ahora muchas veces decimos lo vamos a hacer de forma ordenada, right? Pero ahora lo vamos a hacer de forma desordenada. Lo podemos decir así. ¿Por qué? Porque yo no voy a decir, vaya, ahora va Sandra, ahora va Elias, ahora va Natalie. Sino que ustedes van a abrir su micrófono y, y van a decir una oración describiéndola a ella y a su rutina. ¿Ok? No puede pasar más de un segundo sin que alguien hable. ¿Ok? Uh, puede ser ella tiene un carro, ella, a ella le gustan los tomates, lo que usted quiera, pero eh, ya teniendo el vocabulario que hemos estado practicando, ¿right? <coughs> ok, voy a empezar y no tiene que haber dos segundos, ¿right? Um, ok, she's a nurse. Her name is Gabriela. And Gabriela has a car. She is beautiful. Okay. She is a doctor. Perfect. She wake up early. Um. Okay. She has two brothers, and um, she likes to listen to opera music. Mm -hmm. 
<risa> ok, ey, ¿qué pasó? She goes to work by car. Ok. Ivania, where are you? ¿Dónde estás, Ivania? Ajá. Ok. Mm, let's She's see. She's happy. She's happy. Um, she, she writes when, when um, she's listening to their, her passions, right? Um, she, she likes to eat pupusas. She is Salvadorian. She has a big house and she lives in San Miguel. Continue. She has a cat. Okay. Excellent. Muy bien. Thank you so much. Eh, dense un aplauso, por favor, un aplauso virtual here. Vamos a ver dónde está. ¿Será que no puedo dar aplausos yo? My gosh. No puedo. Ok, ahí tenemos el aplauso de Sandra Eliazar. Excellent. You deserve it, right? Perfect. <clears throat> Bien. Ya la describimos. Ahora, eh, así tiene que ser siempre. No tienen que pasar <clears throat> dos minutos, right? Si usted tiene la respuesta de algo, usted lo puede decir y compartirlo eh, aquí con la clase. Yo siempre digo que muchas veces eh, tenemos una duda que otra persona puede tener también. Entonces así nos solventamos nuestra duda que también puede ser la duda de otra persona. Ok, perfect. Now, yes, we have here the exercise. Ayer decíamos que este dice, how does she get to work? Number two, who has number two? Where do they work? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Bernardino. Number three. How does she get to that work? Uh, let's see. La, number three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does she, no, how does she like it? Like okay, perfect. Excellent, Sandra. Number four. Number four, number four. Who has it? When? <clears throat> when do t-shirts the, the work? Okay, and this, in este caso, when do the teachers <clears throat> work? The teachers. Es el, el mismo sujeto. Okay. Um, <clears throat> number five. Who has it? ¿Quién tiene number five? What do they do? Perfect. Excellent. And number six. We have the last one. Where does a salesperson work? Perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, let's see. We have a video. Tenemos un video, right? Okay, well. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Pay attention to this video. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. 
Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is. is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we Okay, in this video, it was explaining about um, adjectives plus professions. En este video, él está explicando los adjetivos eh, en las profesiones. Vamos a describir las profesiones. Ok, en este caso, tenemos acá el esqueleto de la oración. Article, e a n n es el article. Así se llaman. Profession y el apóstrofe y la S. Ok, eh, en clases pasadas creo que hemos mencionado este apóstrofe y la S que nos indica la posesión de, de esa persona. Okay, cuando dice firefighter, está diciendo el trabajo del bombero. Doctor's job, el trabajo del doctor. Así como, eh, for example, my name, Bea's sister, la hermana de Bea. Ok. Eh, let's see. Es dangerous. Eh, peligroso. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. Y así vamos a describir algunos. Eh, al otras eh, profesiones, right? A doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de un doctor es estresante. Bien. Here we have adjectives. Tenemos aquí terrible, fantastic, great, busy, Quiet, scary, different, cool, exciting, and boring. Terrible, fantástico, grandioso, great, grandioso, busy, ocupado, quiet, quieto, scary, eh, de miedo, different, diferente, cool, genial, exciting, emocionante, and boring, es eh, aburrido. Ok. So, tenemos tres ejemplos más. ¿Y alguien que me los quiera leer, please? Could you please read it? The first one. 
and Laurier's job is boring. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. And the next one, who else? Come on. And Angel Joe is fantastic. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Um a secretary job is busy. Is busy, right? Excellent. Busy. Busy, busy. An engineer job is fantastic. Okay. Tenemos, este es nuestro primer esqueleto, right? Aquí tenemos profesiones y aquí tenemos los adjectives. So, eh, quiero que podamos escribir eh, estos ejemplos. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Por ejemplo, primero está, tenemos doctor en la profesión y luego tenemos adjective. We have the adjective here. Let's see. Boring. Boring. Otra cosa que quiero eh, solamente aclarar, a veces no solemos confundir con bored. Ahorita se lo escribo. Pongan atención a esto. Bored and boring. Es lo mismo. Es aburrido. Solo que este se ocupa para people y este para eh, objects or situations. Or situations. Y así mismo los demás. Eh, también está excited. Este excited termina con ed, ed y exciting. Pero bored, los que terminan con ed son para personas. I'm bored. I'm tired. Y boring lo utilizamos con objetos o situaciones. En este caso, eh, el trabajo no es, no es una persona, right? Por eso utilizamos boring. Ok. We have a doctor's job is boring. El trabajo de un doctor es aburrido. Tenemos acá el segundo. Alguien que me diga, let's see, Bernardino, Mason, and exciting. ¿Cómo diríamos? Eh, uniendo esas oraciones. The doctor job is exciting. Eh, sorry, the uh, Mason job is exciting. Perfect. A Mason's job is exciting. Or hard. Or hard. Mm -hmm. Both of them, right? <laughs> Let's see. Exciting porque ellos construyen, right? Pero... Muy cansado a la vez. Ok. Um, Fátima López. Hey, it's nice to see you here. Um, the third one. Engineer. Um, and hard. In, in engineer job is... Um, Wait. Difficult. Okay, Maybe. let's see. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Perfect. Okay, yo los tenía así como en orden, right? Pero no importa. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, tenemos acá dos detalles. Esta profesión inicia con una vocal. So, cuando tenemos una, ve una vocal seguidamente de la del article, utilizamos an. ¿Ok? Parece que Fátima me, me lo mencionó, an engineer, pero yo, yo lo, no lo escribí para poder hacerle énfasis. ¿Ok? Y no olvidemos poner el apóstrofe and the s. An engineer's job is difficult. Very, very difficult, right? Ok, Ivania. Can you help us with salesperson? A salesperson, a salesperson's job is cool. Is cool. 
perfect is cool. We don't have a mistake here. Okay, no tenemos ningún error acá. Perfect. The next one. Who wants to, to help us? Journalist. Periodista. Journalist, periodista. And journalist job is uh, quiet. Okay. Journalist's job is quiet, right? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Bernardino. Who else? Tenemos lawyer, lawyer, let's see. The lawyer. Uh, Sandra, can you help us please? A uh, lawyer job is difficult. Okay. A lawyer job is difficult. Like that? Is that sentence okay? <clears throat> no, le falta la S. S right. Okay, excellent. A lawyer's job is difficult. Um, the last two jobs, president. Alguien más? Let's see, Eliazar, can you help us, please? A uh, president's job is cool. Okay. Ay, bukele. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. I, I don't think so, right? It's kind of difficult sometimes. But it's cool. It's cool beca because you have a lot of money, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, president's job is... Cool, right? Okay, cool. Tienen mucho dinero, pero también mucha presión, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Perfect. Wells, the last one, receptionist. The receptionist job. A receptionist, receptionist a job is boring. Okay. <laughs> a receptionist's. Oh, wait. It's in. No, no, no. Receptionist. Job is boring. Okay. Here we have. The sentence. Okay, perfect. Bien, tenemos los adjetivos, right? I think it's something very, very easy for you. Ahora veamos la otra manera de poder decir lo mismo. Okay. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article a or an plus profession plus has plus article a or an plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence we will use the, an article a then we will have the profession Firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. 
Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forum. Well, we have the, the two formulas here. Bien, ya vimos una fórmula. Ahora nos, nos toca ver la otra. Dice article a or an, the profession, luego has, porque estamos hablando nada más de uno, por eso utilizamos has, porque es la tercera persona, ya sea she, he, or it. Luego tenemos otra vez the article, boring job. Okay, something that you might know is that um, we have boring um, before the noun. Tenemos el adjetivo boring antes del verbo, de, de, perdón, del noun o de lo que estamos diciendo. En español nosotros decimos la casa roja, right? El adjetivo va después, pero en inglés sería the red house. Primero va el adjetivo y luego eh, lo que queramos decir. O, por ejemplo, ella es una mujer hermosa, decimos en español. Pero en inglés debemos decir, she's a beautiful woman. Primero el adjetivo. Entonces, como, a ver, tenemos doctor, los mismos, right? Y tenemos boring. ¿Cómo sería el segundo? Eh, a ver, let's see. Alguien, un voluntario. ¿Cómo sería el segundo con Mason and exciting? A Mason has an exciting job. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. A Mason has an exciting job. Ok, aquí hay otra cosa. Exciting. Uy. And. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Quería enfatizar en eso. <clears throat> ok, Bernardino, ¿por qué escribimos en? Eh, porque tenemos una vocal. Una vocal, perfect, thank you. Aquí, aquí no, lo, no lo tenemos, right? Acá tenemos una B, una consonante. Pero aquí tenemos una E, es una vocal. Entonces en el article ponemos en. Perfect. Uh, number three, let's see. Who wants to participate? An engineer has a difficult job. Okay, excellent. Thank you. A difficult job. Perfect, a difficult job, right? It's very, very difficult. For the engineer, they study a lot of math and all this stuff, right? A lot of mathematics. Okay, it's a difficult job. Number four, salesperson. A salesperson has a cool job. Okay, has a cool job. Cool job. Yeah, it's kind of relaxed, right? Their job. A cool job. Or sometimes they are eating and the customer only 
uh, goes to the to the store, right? And they have to. Mm, tienen que ahí atender, right? Están comiendo y tienen que atender porque it, este el customer, el cliente tiene no tiene que esperar el cliente, right? It's a cool job. Excellent. Um, ahora tenemos journalists. Journalists have a cute job. Um, sorry, a uh -huh. uh, cute, cute. Uh, quiet? <clears throat> quiet, quiet. Okay, quiet job. Perfect. Now we have lawyer. The lawyer. Okay. A lawyer has a um, boring job. Okay, a lawyer has a boring job. A, a boring job. <clears throat> what about dangerous? Sometimes, right? A boring job, a dangerous job. Sometimes it's very dangerous to be a lawyer. A veces es complicado, es eh, peligroso, right? <clears throat> Let's see, athlete, athlete, el atleta. ¿Alguien? ¿Alguien? Atlete, el atleta. Uh -huh. Atlete has a uh, exciting job. Yeah, excellent and excited, right? It's and, very, and... very ex excellent. Perfect. <clears throat> Just let me. Athlete. Okay. An athlete. Perfect. Thank you so much. An athlete has an exciting job. And we have an here, exciting job. Okay, un trabajo muy emocionante. Ellos salen a correr, ellos um, andan en bicicleta, algunos de ellos rompen records, right? Y tienen mucha salud, muchísima salud. A veces conocemos a personas que son sanas, Inter eh, sí, de, 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 de forma interior, emocionalmente, físicamente, porque ellos hacen mucho ejercicio. Entonces tienen un trabajo muy emocionante. Y es un trabajo, ¿can you imagine? A veces nosotros hacemos ejercicio solo por, eh, por hobby, pero ellos, muchos, es un trabajo. Like Messi, right? Cristiano, <laughs> and all of that. Um, let's see. The, the last one, architect. Mm -hmm. An architect has a difficult job. Okay, excellent. Has a difficult job. They have a difficult job, right? Okay, perfect. Bien, tenemos verb to be plus adjective. Y tenemos adjective plus noun. El noun eh, es, no es, es el trabajo, right? Nuestro noun es el trabajo. La cosa que queremos mencionar es el trabajo. Perfect. Do we have a doubt here? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta, alguna duda con respecto a esto? It's everything clear? I think it is, right? Okay. Excellent. Okay, una cosa muy importante es poder expresar nuestras ideas, nuestras opiniones. Y eh, nosotros lo hacemos en nuestro idioma nativo. 
Entonces, ahora, ¿cómo lo podemos hacer en inglés? Y eso nos va a servir en muchas áreas, uf, todas, no solamente en las ocupaciones y en los trabajos. Tenemos, in my opinion, I feel that, I would say that, it seems to me that, I am of the opinion that, speaking personally, as I see, well, if you ask me, in my view, I think that. As, así podemos expresar nuestras ideas. Ok, um, hay alguna que quieran saber, que tengan la curiosidad, right? No se queden con la curiosidad. In my view. Todas, ok. Bien, in my view, en mi punto de vista, ok, o desde mi vista, en mi opinión, in my opinion, I feel that, yo siento que, incluso en español tenemos esa, right, yo siento que uh, doctor's job is boring, es nuestra opinión, algo otra persona puede pensar algo diferente a nosotros, right, Um, I would say that, yo diría que, yo diría que el trabajo de un mecánico es difícil. A mechanic job is difficult. It seems to me that, um, let's see, lo veo o oh, eso se ve para mí que, eso se ve para mí que, I am of the opinion that, soy de la opinión que, soy de la opinión que, speaking personally, hablando personalmente, as I see it, ok, this one, como yo lo veo, como yo lo veo, right, well, if you ask me, bien, si tú me preguntas, muy común, right? Es, yo siempre digo que es mi favorita, porque a veces no, no nos están preguntando, right? Pero decimos, bueno, si me preguntas y, te, y damos las, la opinión. In my view, en mi punto de vista, o la más común, I think that. Eh, yo pienso que. Hay que ver, giving reasons, dando razones. I tell you all this because, te digo todo esto porque, y damos, right? Eso ya es un poco más largo, dando razones, no solamente una opinión. Ok, perfect. Um, si, si diríamos de estas, cualquiera, ah, por ejemplo, um, let's see. No, Ivania, Ivania, tome una de estas y exprese una de estas. Como que usted estuviera dando la opinión de los trabajos, right? Cualquiera que usted quiera, su favorita. I feel that a liar has a boring job. Perfect. Ivania feels that. Ivania siente eso, right? Eh, what about Fátima López? Eh, I think that eh, uh, engineer has a difficult job. Perfect. Excellent. You see? Se escucha, se escucha chivo, right? It sounds cool. Eliazar. In my, in, my, in my view, is engineer is difficult. Job. An engineer has a difficult job or uh, an engineer job is difficult. Excellent. Perfect. You see, se escucha súper bonito, así que yo les recomiendo que puedan practicar estas express, expressing opinions. In my opinion, I feel that, I will say that. Okay, excellent. 
you see, excellent. Um, let's see, Fatima. No, 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 espérame. Ya le pregunté. Uh, Sandra, Sandra, can you please read this one? This, this one, this one. In my view. Ajá, in my view. And this one? An engineer job is difficult. Okay, in my job, an engineer job is difficult. Excellent. Muy bien. Perfect. You see, we have, <clears throat> we have here, let's see. Okay. Bien, tenemos acá, in activity, right? Look on the internet, different adjectives and different professions and write five sentences describing the jobs. Ok, um, si, si ustedes tienen alguna, al, algo otro trabajo, right? Que ustedes quieran poner, pueden buscarlo y... Vamos a dar nuestra opinión de eso. Okay, all we have here, we have here an exercise. I think it, it's better if we, if we, this, if we do this exercise, okay? We have an exercise here and it gives us more professions. Nos da más profesiones. Entonces acá y luego podemos hacer la, 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 la activity, right? Okay. Bien, this one. Usted me va a decir, si usted tiene la respuesta, me va a decir, he is a, y usted dice, policeman, right? Y yo lo coloco en policeman. Por ejemplo, he is a policeman. What about him? He is a football player. Football player. Okay. Footballer. Footballer. Okay. Footballer. <laughs> Está en, en British. Es inglés británico. Footballer. Footballer. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about him? He is a doctor. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He's a doctor. Okay. What about her? Hairdresser. She is a hairdresser. Perfect. Thank you. What about hair? He is nurse. Nurse. He or she? She. 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 Ella. A nurse. Let's see. Um, we have here nurse or not? Yes. I think we 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 don't have. Ah, yeah, we have nurse. Nurse, nurse, here. What about he, him? He is a farmer. Farmer, thank you. What about him? Mm. Waiter. Waiter. Okay, he is a waiter. What about him? Pilot? The postman? No. We don't have postman, I think. Okay. Pilot. I think it is a pilot. Uh huh. And this one? Veterinary. Excellent. Veterinary. And this. He is a singer. A singer, right? Okay. He's a singer. Let's see. He's a singer. What about him? Hmm. What does he do? 
electrician. He is an electrician. Electrician, right? Mm -hmm. And her? She's a teacher. A teacher. Perfect. What about her? She's a chef. Oh, yeah, or maybe she is cook. a baker. Porque tiene oh. pan ahí, right? Baker. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next one. Now he is a postman. <laughs> postman, right? Okay, excellent. What about here? Hmm. Is she a scientist? Let's see. No, no, no. Scientists, no. Okay, pasemos a la, a la otra. Let's see, no, 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 painter? No, right, uh, he is a painter. Next one. What about him? Plumber, plumber, plomero, and she? She is a steward. Excellent. Na azafata. And here? She is a sci scientist. Scientist, right? Perfect. Um, let's see, what about him? What does he do? Builder, musician, builder, builder no. right? He's yes. a builder. Un constructor. Okay. What does he do? Fireman, cook, no. musician, actress, photographer. Photographer. Okay, excellent. And this one? What about At this one? Actress. Okay, excellent. Perfect. What about this? He's musician. 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 Okay, excellent. And this one? He's fireman. 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 Excellent. And he? Cook. He's cook. He's cook. He's a cook. A cook. cook. She's a cook. Okay. And we have library here. Mm, okay. Finish. Check my answers. <gasps> we made a mistake here. Library. Okay. Library and teacher. Se no, parece. Si no le vimos lo, los libros, nos, nos, nos adelantamos, right? Perfect. Excellent. We have um, other professions here. Ahora sí. Ahora podemos hacer este, esta actividad. Solamente son, son seis en total. Ok, tres y tres. Bien, ahora es nuestro momento de practicar. Vamos a hacer tres ejemplos con giving opinions. Vamos a dar nuestra opinión. With B plus adjective. Es decir, is hard, is difficult, is exciting. Y adjective plus noun, que es hard job, um, exciting job, hard, uh, difficult job, and all of that. Ok, vamos a tener unos minutitos y luego lo compartimos. Perfecto. We need to use I feel that or we can use another one. You can use whatever you want. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect.
eh, voy a proyectar las estas para que ustedes puedan tomar ahí ideas.
Okay, excellent. Time is almost over. Um, y, y me estaba fijando, actress, en este, en este job, en este trabajo, cuando queremos poner, por ejemplo, eh, let's see. Hola. Hola, hola, dígame. Hola, let's see. We're talking about. We're talking. Okay, nice. bien. Uh, por ejemplo, an actress job. Actress job. Okay, no ponemos S. Solamente dejamos el apóstrofe. Okay. Tenemos actress. Luego. An actress job. ¿Por qué? Porque ya la S ya la tiene incluida. Es. Mm, let's see. ¿Qué puede ser? It's hard. An actress job is hard. Ya tiene la S incluida. Ok. <clears throat> Bien. Eh, las oraciones que ustedes han escrito... Tómenle una foto y la mandan al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, ahí lo vamos a ver y vamos a ver eh, el ejempl los ejemplos de todos. Ok, bien. Bien, como, un, como último punto, ya para cerrar esta jornada. Ok, tenemos completed conversations with WH questions. Las WH questions, remember where, when, what time, and what. Ok, acá dice, where does your father work? My father, he works in a store. Ahora, ¿qué le está preguntando acá? He is a solid person. ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué creen que le está preguntando? ¿Qué hace él? ¿Qué hace él, right? Ok, ¿cómo yeah, sería how la... How do you do? ¿Cómo? No. Let's see. How do you do? Ok, let's see. What... Remember? Mm. What? Y como estamos hablando de él, what mm. does he do? Uh -huh. Esa va a ser como nuestra, nuestra pista. Ver la respuesta para saber lo que le está preguntando. En este caso está respondiendo de él. He is a solid person. Y acá tenemos he, eh, he is. Eh, no, no se vayan a confundir que... Que quiere decir algo de él, porque tenemos el apóstrofe y la S, ¿verdad? Pero he is, his, es también una contracción de he is. O sea, es lo mismo, he is, él es, his, él es. Ok, number three, he likes his job a lot. Um, let's see, Fátima, ¿qué cree que le está preguntando, Fátima? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta aquí? Remember, remember. Ajá. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. How? Okay, perfect. Yeah. How? Does? Does. Like, he like. He like it, right? How does he like it? Bien, aquí ya tenemos la el, el, el question mark. El question mark. Ya no se lo voy a poner. How does he like it? Perfect. Um, luego tenemos, I'm an accountant. ¿Qué, qué le está preguntando? Ah, recuerden, está, está respondiendo, yo soy un contador. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Con she, he, it. ¿Qué debería ser carismático? What do you do? Perfect. Thank you so much, Sandra. What do do you? What do you do? I'm an accountant. Ah, uh, let's see aquí. Vamos a ver acá. I work in an office. ¿Qué le está preguntando? Lugar. ¿Cómo decimos lugar? Ivania. Where? Where? Excellent. Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Where do you work? Where do you work? Right? Lo que veíamos ayer. Where do you work? Okay. Dice, it's okay. I guess I like it. ¿Qué está preguntando? Acá tenemos ya el... el eh, la pista, ¿verdad? You have the clue here? How do you like it? Mm -hmm. How do you like it? Excellent. How do you like it? Perfect. It was an exercise. Fue un ejercicio para que nos acordemos, refresquemos nuestra mente. También recuerden hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma. Y ahí están los videos también que ustedes pueden ver. Bien. Eh, recuerden siempre practicar en un, un minuto que usted le dedique eh, a, a los esqueletos de la oración para saber qué sigue, para saber eh, cómo lo tenemos que escribir y así dar una respuesta. Ok, tenemos que ir al día con la plataforma. So, it was a pleasure to me uh, to be here with you and I think it is all for today. Eso es todo por hoy. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta. Este es el momento. Si no, pues nos vemos hasta el día lunes. Do you have a question so far? Pregúnteme. No se vaya con la duda. Pregúnteme, pregúnteme. Okay, no questions. No, teacher, I don't have a questions, right? No, teacher, it's um, it's everything clear. No, teacher, okay. Remember, practice, practice a lot. Escuchen música en inglés, les va a ayudar muchísimo. Eh, vean su serie favorita en inglés. Y sé que vamos a seguir aprendiendo. Okay, bye-bye, guys. See you on Monday. Enjoy bye your bye. weekend. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Rest a lot. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Eliazar, bye-bye.